Hello everybody and welcome to Lint in a Bag Week 5. That's right, this is the week from March 18th to March 24th. I'm so glad that you are joining uh, me. Uh, we have moved along our tableau quite well. We've got, um, uh, first off there was burlap, that's like sackcloth. Uh, that's to remind to remind us of like the ways in which our sins, uh, our separation from God, like pulls at us and doesn't feel right. Um, the call to come closer to God. Then we've got the sand, which represents Jesus going out into the wilderness or the, or the desert to face uh, temptation, um, and how we have temptations that try to pull us from God. Um, then we've got the little clothespin man, which reminds us that Jesus was fully human. He experienced all of those temptations, all of those tests. Um, he stayed in the wilderness for 40 days and didn't eat anything. He must have been really hungry, and he was fully human while he did that. So um, he knows exactly what it's like to feel what we feel, uh, and that's good to know. Um, we also have a candle. Uh, if yours isn't lit, now's a good time to light it. Uh, if uh, if uh, you've got a lighter handy, and um, for kids, if your parents say it's okay, but uh, <clears throat> but uh, we've been making this tableau, and once again, we've talked a lot about how Jesus was in the wilderness; he was really challenged um, as he faced uh, faced temptation uh, and faced the devil, um, and how he faced hunger. Um, and at the end, uh, we know from the Bible that Jesus was exhausted. You know, that's true. We all get tired sometimes. We all get exhausted. You know, when God created the world, on the seventh day, the Bible tells us that he rested. The rest is an important part of not just what it means to be human, but just to be. Because God didn't necessarily get tired when he finished creation, but he still rested. But Jesus must have been really tired and really hungry because remember, he's fully human too. So um, this week, you reach in your bag and we're going to find a picture of an angel. So yours is probably not colored. Um, you can take some time after this reflection and you can color it. Um, mine was colored by Taylor, you can tell because she chose pink. Um, so uh, you can color it as you want to or whatever. Um, but it's a little image of an angel. And the reason why is the Bible tells us that when Jesus was in the desert and he faced all these temptations and when he was done, he was tired. Uh, and he, there's wild beasts everywhere, it says. But then he says the angels waited on him, that the angels took care of him. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. This idea that God's angels cared, not just for God, not didn't just serve God, but actually cared for Jesus in his weakness. That Jesus, being human and exhausted and tired, needed someone to care for him, and that God sent angels to do that. I think it's a big deal because sometimes I tell myself I shouldn't need help. I think Ooh, if I was smarter or stronger, I shouldn't need help, and so I don't ask for help, or I don't, or I refuse it. But even Jesus needs help, and he gets help, both from people and other parts of the Bible, and in this story, from the angels themselves. So God was there with his angels to care for Jesus, and God is there with his angels to care for us. And it's not wrong that we need help. Jesus was without sin. And he still needed someone to care for him. And God provided that. Because he's human. We're human. We need help. And God sends his angels to tend to us. And God calls us to help each other. In the midst of our own wildernesses and struggles. So here's an angel, like I said... After we're done, take some time, color it, and find a place to put it in the tableau that you like. I'm gonna put mine right here because I like it right behind, like looking over at Jesus and how to take care of him. So um, take some time and do that. And as you walk about your way this week, um, make sure you spend some time in front of your tableau in prayer and remember all these different things and what they represent and how they're all part of this Lenten journey that we take with Jesus.
Clinton. That just means like from Lent or part of Lent. Um, all right, now we're going to uh, close today the same way we close every week with a prayer. If you find your reflection sheet in your bag go ahead and you turn to week five, it says angel um, on that week. Uh, if it's got the prayer so you can read it aloud with me or you can just listen as I read it the Lord be with you let us pray blessed Jesus send your angels to help and deliver us from all our sins and temptations amen thank you so much Next week where is Holy Week. There's going to be lots of services at church. Make sure you join us. Um, and also join us here on one another videos because we've got one more week um, for where we're going to look at the cross. We're going to add the cross to this. So um, see you next week and uh, have a blessed Lent. And my prayers go with you like they always do. Thanks a lot.